Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at 5 facts you may not know about Crazy Dave. So a while back I did a video like this about Dr. Zomba, so feel free to give that a look. However this time I thought we should turn our focus onto the leader of the plants. So the first fact was actually a really surprising one and I'm amazed I never knew it before. As we know, Dr. Zombos has a full name. Dr. Edgar George Zombos. However, what you might not have known is that Crazy Dave actually has a full name too. And that name is Christopher David Blazing III. Now, for those of you who have had the chance to play Plants vs. Zombies 3, this might not be a surprise to you as this is where Crazy Dave himself tells us of his full name. But there are parts of Dave's full name we knew prior to this. So from my research, I couldn't find any origins of where we learned Crazy was short for Christopher until BBC3. And of course, Dave is the shortened version for David, which Zomboss confirms in the Ancient Egypt boss level. But we first learned of Crazy Dave's surname Blazing in the first Plants vs. Zombies comic, Lawmageddon, where we discovered that Patrice Blazing, one of the main characters, is Crazy Dave's niece. Also, when it comes to the last part of the name, the third, the only real reference to this I could find is in Battle for Neighbourville, where in Crazy Dave's mansion, you can see all the portraits of past family members and ancestors on the walls and I guess because A Crazy Dave has a giant mansion and B because of all these fancy portraits it can be assumed Crazy Dave came from a very privileged background so yes in a similar vein to Zomboss Crazy Dave also has I guess what I class as like a posh name or like a name you'd expect someone of royalty or high status to have. What I love about this and just PVC in general is that although initially Crazy Dave and Zomboss are just the good old good versus evil story but actually they're probably more similar than you think. Number two is that the character Crazy Dave was based on David Roll, who is a game designer and previous employee at PopCap. There are many aspects of Roll's personality, looks, fashion sense and name that we can see in Crazy Dave. Even subtle things like the car cluttered with board games are references to him. Another thing that I think could be a reference to Roll is that his surname sounds like one of Crazy Dave's words, Rowl. <laughs> David Wall is a veteran in the gaming industry with over 25 years of experience. Currently, he runs a company called Mobile Game Doctor that is basically like a mentor and training company that helps mobile game developers improve their games, teams, and processes. Going off this, it's assumed that Roll did a similar thing with PopCap, but whatever the case, it's clear he had a really significant input or impact on Plants vs. Zombies for PopCap to have based one of the main characters in the franchise on him. There's also a special thank you to Roll in the credits. Number three is that Crazy Dave has an evil twin called none other than, wait for it, Evil Dave. Such a creative name, I know. So Evil Dave appears in the Chinese version of Plants vs Zombies 2 in the PvP mode where essentially Evil Dave is a boss and you have to defeat his plant army six times in a specific time frame. So yeah, a really interesting game mode which kind of works like the PvZ vs mode on console. It's a real shame that there are a lot of really cool stuff in the Chinese version of PvZ 2 that I think would have worked really well over here too. Anyway, as with all evil twins, Evil Dave despises his brother and of course his appearance is very opposite to Dave. However, Evil Dave's outfit has been said to look similar to the millionaire's outfit Crazy Dave wears in PVC All-Stars. Another interesting piece of information about Evil Dave is that he isn't actually related to Patrice Blazing. Paul Tobin, the writer of the PVC comics, confirms that the Chinese version of the games do go off script sometimes. Number four is that Crazy Dave doesn't like cherries. In Plants vs Zombies Adventures, Dave actually says he doesn't like them, but also says to the player not to tell them. Perhaps it'll make them angry, and we all know what happens when cherry bombs get angry. Chaboof! But perhaps turning this a bit darker, maybe this is the reason Crazy Dave created cherry bombs, maybe because he doesn't like them and thought if they're designed to explode, it's a fast and effective way not only to deal with zombies, but also get rid of the cherries as quickly as possible, but, but that's just speculation. The final fact is Crazy Dave's least favourite zombie is Bungie Zombie. We learn this in level 5-5 where Dave states this fact. Throughout the original Plants vs Zombies, Crazy Dave has a number of run-ins with Bungie Zombies, including being abducted by one in level 5-10. Also, during There's a Zombie on Your Lawn, Crazy Dave can be seen held upside down by a Bungie Zombie. Another fun fact is that the Bungie Zombie that abducts Dave is named the Crazy Dave Zombie in the files. I guess the other main reason why Crazy Dave doesn't like Bungie Zombies, and probably all of us will agree, is because they steal your plants. Although we actually never know what happens to the plants they steal, I mean, we can assume they eat them, but with it being PVZ, maybe they just keep nice little collections of all the plants they steal. Who knows? 
Anyway guys, that's about it. If you did enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you do want to help support this channel even further, feel free to check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. But other than that, I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.